Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this easy granny square sweater. I make it with thread. If you don't want to make with this, you can uh, crochet less rows here. I told every details in the video, but if you have any questions, please leave me comments and don't forget subscribe to my channel. It's so easy. I crocheted that motifs a few years ago. Uh, it's uh, that motifs weights for that sweater, I think. Uh, I like it very much. Hope you like it, and it's a. Uh, uh, it will be. I hope it will be an opinion uh, about anything for you. I hope you will try, and I will wait your comments. I make uh, front side one row less, back side one row long. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, please leave me comments and don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support and thanks for your watching. If you're ready, we can start to crochet our Granny Square Trout Sweater. Let's crochet. We start to make our sweater with that grannies. I have uh, left yarns for that. First of all, we start. I use four millimeter hook. That's the point. And uh, first of all, make a magic ring. Take my yarn and chain three. One, two, three. Count as a double crochet. Then make totally twelve double crochet. This two yarn over. Pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. That's four, five. I made twelve double crochet, pull that yarn tightly and insert into the first chain three. I made that uh, granny's. Uh, nearly two years ago and I don't have any yarn so that and I uh, pull them off so that's yarns too less okay then join with a slip stitch lock with chain one that's the here now take your second color Insert your hook between that uh, two double crochet, grab the yarn and chain three, yarn over, insert into same place and make one more double crochet, yarn over, insert into next two double between of that two double crochet and make two double yarn over insert into next and make two double we make two double crochet in every e each that space okay i finished that after turn to you i made 12 groups and join with a slip stitch first chain three chain one and cut my yarn Now take the third color, that's red one. Insert your hook from the between of that two groups, any of them. Grab your yarn and chain three. Then make two more double crochet in the same space. Then yarn over, insert into next space and make three double. This round, always same thing. Every space we make three double crochet. I finished third row. Now we are on the fourth row. We turn that uh, circle to the square. I take my fourth color. insert any of that between that three group take my fourth color 
and chain three then make two more double crochet next to it yarn over and insert into next space one two three yarn over insert into next space and make one two three here is the first corner when we turn all around and come here uh, complete that corner two three group now i make here corner three double one two three one chain then make three double one two and three then next space make three double then make next space three double one two three then come to here we have totally 12 groups uh, we need to make four corner so make two three group third one have to be a corner three two and three chain one and make three double in the same space like that I come to that corner I will turn to you come to start corner and here make three double and join with a slip stitch from the first chain three chain one and cut my yarn now on the one two three four fifth uh, round take the fifth color insert any of that corner chain three yarn over and make two more one and two yarn over and insert into next space and make three double one two three next space three double one two three next space I want to hide this two one two and three come to the corner insert into chain one space make three double and chain one and make three double then make here three double after come here three double chain one three double finish that uh, after i will uh, show you how to join them together we finish our motifs i choose the uh, that uh, new color i love that yarn uh, this is um, cartopoliden wool uh, it's linen and wool together and i uh, it's perfect yarn i love it but i can uh, i couldn't find any more that i hope you can find that now i will insert any of that corner and do the same thing chain three make two more double crochet then yarn over insert into next and make one two three come to corner make three 
double chain one and three double do the same thing and finish that round after we join come to last corner and complete that one two and three chain one and join with a slip stitch chain one and cut my yarn then this is our first uh, motif then you start to crochet the second one chain three two more here one and I make three uh, double I make that motif three double crochet for the corner then yarn over and insert into next one and make uh, then take the which I want to join with uh, that motif and insert my hook from the after of that corner put the back sides together insert here and make a single crochet make a single crochet yarn over and insert here and make three double crochet one two and three then insert into next space and make a single then make that motif three double then insert that motif a single here three double one two and three then insert here and make a single crochet make here three double one two and three insert here a single yarn over come to corner and make three double crochet insert into that corners that's motifs corner and make a single then yarn over and insert into that space again and make three more double crochet like that uh, this is one way after that if you have one more uh, motif here you will keep joining and crocheting together this is the one way of the joining that motifs and you can join them when you finish that sixth round after uh, with single crochet you can join that you can with, uh, join them together with slip stitch or you can sew it it's your choice I, cr uh, I join them together with crocheting then uh, I will join my motifs after turn to you how many uh, motifs I crocheted I will tell you I add my motifs together uh, this is the back side four uh, motif here and five motif here I want to make the back side uh, of my sweater uh, more longer from the front side and uh, this is the front side I want to show you here one row less like that then we make here a rib part here make yeah, uh, so this is the uh, difference of two sides and now I want to put one motif for shoulder from here and from here I want to you know I use four millimeter hook here is our motif I insert my hook from the corner grab the yarn 
and chain three. This is our first double crochet, two and three double, chain one, insert into next chain one space and make here three double. Chain one, make three double. Chain one, make three double. Chain one, make three. Chain one and come to corner. First of all, make three double. Then take the back side of my sweater and from that uh, front side right side and this is the back side you see and insert that corner grip the yarn and make a single crochet yarn over and make and make sorry here three more double crochet one two and three then insert into next chain one space of that uh, back side and make here a single crochet then yarn over and insert here make three double look at that joining part then insert into that back part grab the yarn and make a single crochet yarn over insert into next chain one space and make three double so we not make any chain one uh, we make here a single crochet insert here and make a single yarn over make here one two three double insert into next space make a single one two and three double insert here make a single now come to corner and make here three double one two three and insert that corner back sides that corner again make a single crochet then yarn over and insert into same corner and make three more double crochet usual joining okay which we do here we do the same thing then I make here chain one three double come to the corner make three double and join to the front side I come here and turn to you I come to more closer and showing more better I think he this is the front piece here is the back piece and this is the shoulder now I made here three double crochet not chain one I will insert my hook that front sides corner always uh, joining with the front sides of the motif okay grab the yarn and make a single crochet then yarn over and make that shoulder motif three double in the same corner more three double then come to the front piece and insert into next chain one space and make a single crochet here 
yarn over make here three double one two three come to front piece chain one space and make here single crochet then come to sh shoulder motif and make here three double one two and three come to front piece and make a single come to the shoulder make three double come to front piece make a single crochet come to shoulder motif make three double come to front piece here make a single crochet yarn over I come to the shoulders corner make three double and insert my hook that corner front piece corner make a single crochet then turn back to the first our chain three and join with a slip stitch now I want to show you that joining this is the front piece this is the back piece and this is the shoulder motif I add uh, one more the second shoulder here left here for the neck two motif I add here one more p uh, one more motif after I will turn to you we add uh, two sides together with that shoulder motifs this this is the neck part we will doing something after uh, here uh, now I start to make a double crochet in every each stitch you can see now we will turn all around that sweater with uh, that double crochets but I want to show you something Here I have three double I make one double here second here and third here you remember we have here chain one I skip that this is the corners part here is the joining part here is the second corner I will insert my hook from the joining part here you can see that loops that loops uh, First, I start to make with that uh, different project, but I I change my mind and I turn it to the sweater. So uh, I drop it, so it uh, gets that uh, loops. But uh, when I make this double crochet, it's not uh, looking like that. I made only one double crochet between the two corner skip that corner points then make here three double one two three come to the chain one space skip that and insert next three group and make three double one two three skip chain one and make one two and three I will make like that when I come to corner I show you one more thing after we turn all around our sweater I come to corner here you see here three double here chain one three double I will make one and next one one I made here two double yarn over skip that third one insert into chain one space and make two double chain one and two double in the same corner space then skip that first and make 
two double here previous rounds corner so uh, it's more clear turning from the last uh, for the last round and keep crocheting one two three and skip that chain one space and again do the make one two and three then come to here make here three double make into do that between space and again make here three double skip that chain one space okay then I finish that round after turn to you finish that round and make here two double come to corner and make two double crochet and join with a slip stitch with the first chain three we join that we join that uh, together and chain three count as a first double crochet then yarn over and insert into next stitch and insert my hook like that and make a front post then yarn over and insert into next stitch and make a back post I insert my hook front to back down front make pull through to pull through to make a front post yarn over insert my hook back to front then back pull through to pull through to yarn over pull through to pull through to yarn over from back pull through to pull through to one front post one back post I will make it then when I come to here I will turn to you I finish that row that's the back post that's the front post and I will make here a usual double crochet chain three and turn my work our first and the last stitch is usual double crochet now we keep crocheting the brim part and uh, which we stitch we see we crochet that I saw here I see here a back post so I make here a back post I see here front post I make here front post back post front post we make a back post on the back post we make a front post on the front post I think I uh, totally uh, keep repeating five or six rows like that uh, do the same thing from the back sides ending I have I want to make here a brim part I finish that brim parts after turn to you I make my brim parts uh, I crochet totally uh, six rows do the same thing back part and uh, join two sides with one motif like that you can add one motif that two side I turn all around that uh, sleeve part with a double crochet now uh, we will turn that side together I insert my hook from that joining part and chain three yarn over insert into next and I will make a double crochet in every each stitch turn all around and come here I will turn to you I turn all around that sleeve and uh, do the one more in the corner and join with a slip stitch next stitch then chain one and cut my yarn sleeves okay sides that joining two sides okay now 
uh, start to make that uh, neck part from the back sides I want to start from the back sides middle point I want to make my sweater with throat so uh, first of all we uh, make our loops place after turn turn around and crochet which size we want I insert my hook from the middle point and chain 3 yarn over that insert that 3 stitch skip that chain 1 and insert the next 3 loop skip that insert that next I come to corner that's the before three group of that corner and that's the one after I crochet that together like that insert first stitch pull through insert next pull through insert first one pull through yarn over next one pull through yarn over next one pull through I finished that first three double crochet group then insert into corner grab the yarn and pull through then come to next that three group yarn over insert into that first pull through second pull through and the third pull through I have three six and seven pull through all together if I cook that and lock down with chain one then yarn over skip that chain one and make here three one two three skip chain one one two and three skip chain one one two three double skip here one two and three now come to second corner look at here here three stitch here corner here three stitch yarn over insert into first one grab the yarn pull through yarn over insert into second one pull through insert into third one and pull through yarn over insert into that corner grab the yarn and pull through then come to that uh, second third group that first one second one and the third one I have three six eight so we have eight loops and pull through all together and chain one like that then uh, do the same thing here when you come to corner you crochet that three that corner and that three together then do the same thing last corner when I finish that round I will turn to you I turn all around that neck part you see the corners now insert into first chain three and join with a slip stitch chain three and uh, start to second row round but it's too big but if we uh, decrease that 
every two stitch it gets more smaller so I want to crochet two double you can adapt that uh, with your size okay it's not uh, have to be like that you can adapt that your size if you want to make big throat uh, sweater so you uh, not need to be that decreasing but I want to decrease a little I crochet one two and three double yarn over then insert into fourth one grab the yarn pull through two then insert into fifth one and pull through two and pull through together crochet two stitch together so I decrease that five stitch to the fourth stitch okay crochet one two three then next two together one and two together one two three fourth and fifth crochet together not specific anything doing in the corner we do the same thing one two three four and five together I keep crocheting like that and degreasing when I finish that round I will turn to you I finish that round and join with a slip stitch and I want to show you that neck part I think it's good this is the front side now we crochet uh, which size we want I crochet that after turn to you how many rounds I crocheted I will tell you I finish that uh, throughout after turn to you I finish my sweater I make that throughout but if you don't want to make uh, with throughout you can uh, crochet less more rows you know we make here to crochet together and uh, one more row uh, decreasing after decreasing you can make uh, like that brim that um, neck part so it uh, gets combined and uh, you have circle neck okay not uh, like that throughout but I like with throughout that it's length for your uh, choice I crochet after decreasing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and 17 rows. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave me comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can reach me on Instagram, on Facebook and on Pinterest as the same name Crochet with Gigi. Hope to see you in new videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.